Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing something slightly different, not like a what if I did, but we're actually just going to be adding some new custom objects to my giant list here. So yeah, as you can see, yeah I have quite a lot of custom objects here, but yeah we're going to be adding a few more in today from, um, yeah this is sort of like a little continuation of um, the last uh, last episode where we did the um, brightest star ever discovered, or the most massive star, whatever it is, yeah the, I know it's the most massive, but I don't know if it's the brightest as well, but yeah. Correct me on that if I'm wrong, but it's definitely the most oh, massive star, but yeah. So, if we just go into new simulation here, there's also some other stars, because I did stay in that video. Is there any other stars that could rival it, like the pistol star? I haven't really... This pistol star isn't accurate, though, my custom one here, since it is... Um... Actually, where is it? Pistol star, pistol star... Oh, there it is. Yeah, so, the stats on this aren't wrong. Or well, the size is correct, but the luminosity is wrong, I believe. So, yeah, don't quote... On, don't, quote oh, don't judge me on that, but... Yeah, this star here... I said it could be one of the only things that could rival this star that I know of. But there's actually some other stars as well um, that are also super, super luminous. So, to my knowledge, this is still the brightest star. A luminosity of 8 million suns there. So, pretty crazy stuff. But I think this could be wrong in the game. So, I've just got some comments up here. And there's a star called Melnik34, which, um, one of you guys, you know who you are. Yeah, thanks for all the comments on it. I saw them. So, yeah, we need to make actually go and create a new star. So... I may just base it off this star, make a copy of this and just change the stats up a bit. So, this star is called Melnik. So, let's just start building it, honestly. So, it's called, um, yeah, Melnik 34 like this. Okay. So, change the name. So, this has a mass of 180 suns. So, we're going to turn that off. We're going to put this to 180 like that. Okay, so it's 180. And its radius, where is this? Is this a radius? Radius... 15 sun radiuses so if we go to sun here let's make this 15 like that and there we go that is melnik 34 and then the luminosity as well is at 7 million so okay 70 700 7000 70,000 700,000 and then 7 million okay so that's 7 million and there we go that is melnik 34 so this is a new star we can um play around with here so this is gonna be pretty interesting so yeah, that is that. And there's also another one. So I'm going to go ahead and save this bad boy. So let's get you there. And just comparing it to um, R136A1. Um, A1. It is smaller. It is a little smaller than that. But it, I guess it makes sense since it does have less mass as well. It's not as luminous. So yeah, this guy's more of a beast, I guess. But yeah, these, these two are pretty dangerous nonetheless. I'm pretty sure both of these would grow to the solar system. Well, this guy does. But I'm pretty sure this one here will as well. And even the pistol star. Which I still need to research. Maybe I'll do it this episode. See how luminous it is. Because I know, I, I believe the size is all right. I don't know about the mass, but I believe my or the radius I put in is correct. So, yeah, there's that. Right, next up, there is another star, which is the second one. It's called R136C. So it's got 6.5 million luminosity. So we're going to go ahead and add you in. So let's just base it off this again. Let's go down here. Wait, I did. I did to save that one, right? Let me just do it again, just in case. All right. So I've got this. So it is this next star is so it's R one three six um C so like that yeah and also I believe um yeah you said as well the commenter you know who you are so it's from a this star here is from a cluster known as R one three six in the large um Magellanic cloud I can never pronounce that word but Major Magellanic cloud it's um I believe it's I think it's in the game actually it is. This thing here, as you can, yeah, the bottom left um, one there, the, wh however you pronounce that, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry guys, but I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, so, right, so this star has 20, ma or 20 radius of suns, so we're going to go and, she, um, no, don't lock these, dang it, wait, let me do that, I don't want to mess with those, so, um, let's go and quickly get a new one, no, not the crab pulsar, that one there, okay, perfect, so, Right, so this guy has a mass of, so this one has a mass of 230 suns, so a little less mass than the, um, or the most massive star, so we're going to pull it to 230, and it has a size of 20 suns, or radius of 20 suns, so let's go and do that, and there we go, so, yeah, size of 20 solar radius, 230 masses of sun, which I've done, and then its luminosity is 6.5 million, so let's turn that to a 6, and then um, do it like that. So that's 6.5 now. So, yeah, let me just... Wait, is that 6.5? Um, let me just add the numbers. So that's 100, 1,000, 10,000, 500, 500, Yeah, so 6.5 million. 
So let's go and change the name again. So it's R, yeah, R136. Is it R136C? So I'm guessing both of these are in the same system since they have similar names. Maybe? Yeah, R136C. Huh, interesting. So yeah, these are these are like the killer stars of the um of the Milky Way here. And then obviously the pistol star as well. Actually, while I'm here, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna actually research that right now. So Let's um, check here, so just bear with me guys. Anyways, hopefully you're all having a good day. So yeah, pistol star mass. So I do want to get this right, so. Hmm, does it say, 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 so? Dang it, it doesn't say. I don't know what that means. There's some weird thing here. Um, yeah, it's saying the mass of two point or 27.5 M, but I don't know what that M is. So it's 10 million times as luminous as the sun, apparently. Is that right? Wait, is this the most luminous star, then? Because this says, well, from what um, one of these websites is saying, it's saying, well, it says it's almost 10 million times as luminous as the sun. So if it's almost 10 million times, let's put it to 900,000, maybe? And then nine, no, 9 million, not 9. So how bright? So this is 8 million. But I believe this is wrong. I, I'm not sure. So sure. Let me just... um check on that it's really complicated uh, so it's, uh, it does say 8 million suns but from what I'm reading here the pistol saw has the pistol saw is it says almost 10 million or 10 million yeah it says early reports suggested it might be the most luminous star known being almost 10 million times as luminous as the sun so is the pistol star brighter than R1 here this is the most massive star but is it the brightest as well I don't know. Yeah, can, can someone research the pistol star? Because from what I'm saying, it's it says almost 10 million, but it doesn't give an actual like result of what it actually is. So I can try and find the mass of it again. So so it says 306 solar radiuses, I believe the pistol star has. So well, this is really this is the most complicated I've done, or the most complicated episode I think I've ever made. This is there's so many. God, things there. Right. Time, 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 time. Wow, this is really. Yeah, someone, someone, please find some pistol star stats because I can't find them. Hmm. Like yeah, like yeah. Huh. Yeah, I, I literally don't know. <laughs> Just trying to find the pistol star here. So here's the pistol star. Can I try and find the mass? So. So it's got three, I think it's got 306 solar radiuses. So if I just put this to sun quickly. Oh, so it is 306. Yeah, I have had it correct. So how much mass does it have? So apparently it has 27. So it has 27 solar mass from what I'm reading here. So it has 27 solar mass, has a radius of 306 suns, which is equivalent to 1.42 AU, making it a very large star. And then the surface temperature of the pistol star so can you just go back here so the pistol stars temperature where is it I, think I already read it somewhere I think it's about 11,000 degrees so let's just quickly fix that so like that okay so that 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 is correct now so let me just go and save that so that's an updated pistol stars. yeah that's fine so yeah if I'm wrong on any of these stats apart the luminosity I don't know but I believe these are all correct so mass radius and the surface temperature they're correct the age doesn't really matter but luminosity anyone know how much luminosity it has because it just says from what i'm reading here it just says it has almost 10 million times so that means it should be in the 9 million area so does that mean it's more luminous than r136c or r136a1 is because this is 8 million so yes yeah, so yes why don't you please correct me if this is wrong because i don't know but i'm just going to leave it at 9 million for now and then I'm going to go ahead and just save all these. We don't need to save this one since it's already an object in the game. But yeah, this one here, we're going to save you. And then Melnick, we just save you again. So now, they should be in my list here. So let's have a look. So there's Melnick, and then there's that one. Okay, so they're both there. I need to organise them to get them up here. So yeah, I'll do that eventually. But yeah, these guys are now in the solar system. Or not the... What am I saying? They're not the solar system. My custom object list. So... Got some good stuff in here, but yeah, pistol star. If any of you know how luminous it is, please share it because I really want to know. Like, from what I'm reading here, it just says almost 10 million. 
No, I don't really know much about the Pistol Star either, so... Yeah, my apologies on my lack of knowledge, I guess. But, yeah, I, I can't know everything, right? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so it says surface temperature of the pistol start is 11,800 degrees, apparently. So, then enter that in. So, that's updated. But it doesn't say how luminous it is. So, that, that kind of... Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, but, yeah, someone please tell me how, how luminous this guy is. And, and then if this one is wrong. Because I believe I heard what, or saw when you guys once said this luminosity is wrong here. So, yeah, please... um share some knowledge of me on that one but yeah there we go so let's just quickly go ahead and save the updated pistol star and there we go so now we've got some really bright stars to muck around with in that so if you guys have got any ideas of what we can do with these these four stars here let me know in the comments down below because we could we could destroy so many things with these stars it's because these are so bright you may think oh you guys go to use the brightest because it's the biggest but no biggest doesn't always mean the brightest so yeah, these are the brightest stars in the game, or in, in my game anyway, since I've got custom objects, as you can see. So, this, this is going to get pretty cool. But yeah, let's um go ahead and make this sort of like a little second part to the episode. So let's go to the Trappist-1 system, and let's roast it. <laughs> so let's go to the Trappist-1 here. So here's my Trappist-1, I custom, this is my custom Trappist-1 system. I remember I made this before they added it to the game. But anyway, so we'll just go, we'll go to the actual Trappist-1, so... Yeah, this is the, the one the game added in, so mine's pretty pretty similar to this. So, here's Trappist 1 solar system. So, what we're going to do is, we can't even put the star in the centre because the star's just too big. Like, if we tried, let's just say we put, want to put this one in here. It covers the whole system. These stars are so big that they cover the whole Trappist system. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to put one there. Then we're going to put this one here. Then we're going to get um, the pistol star as well, which is obviously the brightest one in my game right now, but that could change. So we're going to put the pistol star... <laughs> Look how bright that is. So we've got the pistol star there. And then last but not least, we're going to get um, R1 here, which is the most massive star. Then we're going to position lock them all. So let's go and do that. So let's go on motion, position lock, then um, R1, position lock, we're going to position lock you as well. Melnick will position lock you, and then Trappist 1 will also position lock you because we don't need supernova. So now, let's slow down time, and this system is not going to stand a chance. Remember, all these objects are a little bigger than Earth or a little smaller than Earth, so yeah, I think they're screwed. <laughs> look at this. No matter where they look, or no matter where you look on the surface, there is blue stars everywhere. <laughs> and then we've got little Trappist 1. Look at our poor Trappist 1. That's poor little system. It's just going to go down, so damn. This, this is going to be insane. So let's slow it down to one second. So pretty much real time here. We're going to hit play. Check the temperatures. Oh my god. Look at this. This is happening at 600 millis. So this is happening slower than real time. And look. They are already losing material. So this is insane. Every single one of them is losing material. Because remember, these guys are tiny. These planets. They're not very large at all. Some of them are only a little bigger than Earth. So... There's no gas giants here, so look at this, 40,000 degrees Celsius, that is insane. Then we've got Trappist-1D as well, also also 40 degrees, or 40,000, so yeah, these are all going to be around 40,000 degrees. Once we've speed up time to a few seconds now, so we're traveling at two seconds a second. Actually, let's, let's, go up, let's go up to about a few minutes, maybe. Look at the mass, they're just losing all their mass. Look, the mass is going down. Like, actually, let's just put them in a giant rack so we can actually see them all. So let's go to radius, zoom in all the way here. All right, so here, here are our planets. Now let's just watch. Look at this. All of them, every single one here, if I can actually select them, please. Well, yeah, here we go. So the mass, look at that, all, they're all, all the temperatures are increasing. The mass on every single one of them is all going down. Look at this. They're just all going down. <laughs> this is insane. Like the mass is going down on you. On you as well. Look at even the largest ones. They're just losing the mass too quickly. This is insane. This is just absolutely crazy. Let's speed up a little more now. They're just going to just... Look. <laughs> they're all just destroying. They're all just getting roasted into nothing. Look. They're all just evaporating. Oh, poor planets. They just got turned <laughs> into nothing. And that's that. That is... That's that. So all that's left is Trappist 1. So... Yeah, look, it's just all smoke and stuff everywhere. So, Trappist 1, let's unlock you. Let's see which one you want to go to and get revenge on. If it even makes a supernova. So, let's um, let's see what Trappist 1 can do. Let's see if it can 
avenge any of its fallen planets. So, Japis one, where are you heading? So, we, oh, is it heading to yeah R one three six A one? Looks like it is. Wow, look how bright all this is. This is insane. Oh, the rouge limit of each star is tearing the other ones. <laughs> if we just look here, if we just turn off um, if we just turn off graphics, I may have put the stars too close to each other. Look. There's all fragments here, and these these are fragments from the stars because they have over a mass of one sun. So, all this fragments here, all this giant glow in the middle, I think these stars are tearing each other apart because they're too close to each other. So, Trappist One, Trappist One's just being torn into nothingness. It's oh no, it's gaining mass actually. No, no, I tell a lie, it's gaining mass, and it's gone. It just blew. <laughs> I think we overdosed it a bit with mass. Yeah, that must be what happened because yeah, if you give little stars too much mass, they just explode. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Trappist One sucking up all of that um, material from all the other stars must have made it go pop. So there's that. Now, if we just speed up time here. Anything else? Look, these two stars are just absorbing each other. Now they're going to collide. Oh my god, look at this. What is going on? Have we just made. Whoa. That is a big star. Oh my. It's bigger than the pistol star is. Look at this. They're inside. I, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Why is this not Novad? So, there you go. Wow, that is... What if we turn off position lock? Oh, that just ate them all. This star, how is it not Novad? How much mass does this have? 400 suns in mass. It's basically... This is all of the biggest stars... Com all, of the most, all, all of the most massive stars combined. Damn. This thing is just now a titan. Its luminosity is still the same, but damn. Let's put it on a 1v1 view, I scutty. Oh, and no one wins. Well, oh well. Rest in peace, bright stars. So there we go. Now we've just got tons of um, supernovas just exploding into nothingness. So, damn. That, that game over game. <laughs> so now we just have a black hole of UI Scotty in the middle. So yeah, all those stars are dead. But yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this short of, sort of different sort of video. Since I don't really do many videos on creating custom objects. So hopefully you enjoyed this sort of like one-off. And yeah, please someone tell me how much mass the pistol star has. And, and if, um, where is it, and if this star, R136A1, if its luminosity is correct, because I'm pretty sure I do remember someone saying it was wrong, so if we just add it in again. So the game says it has 8, 8, mass, is that correct? Let me just read the comments here just so I'm not missing anything, so, yeah, yeah, I think that's alright, so yeah, someone please tell me. The pistol star's radius, or the, not the radius, the pistol star's luminosity, because, yeah, I really want to know that, so I can add it in properly. But, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. If you've got any ideas to what I should do with these super blue stars, the most luminous stars in the galaxy, then, yeah, just leave a comment down below. I always read the comments within 24 hours of a video being up. So, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, make sure you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.